All right, guys, welcome back to Budget Card Breaks, and today is an exciting day. We got the 1996 Blastoise Poker Pack, and if you follow my channel, you know I have opened up the green um, pack, and really the only crucial Pokemon I'm missing is Charizard and Pikachu. Which both of these cards are supposed to be in here. Um, the co the box is in as good condition as the green one, and um, these cards, they feel a, they look in pretty good condition, but not as in good condition the other ones. But I feel like if I wipe them down before I send them in, they'll get good grades. So, Charmander. I already have that from my other set. And that's cool because a lot of these cards I don't have. Like I don't have this one. So the, the right pile is going to be cards that I'm going to grade. Left is cards I'm not going to grade. I'm not going to name all these off. You guys know it's just the original 150. Not a lot of these I'm going to be looking to grade, to be honest with you. Um, I just hope the... Just because I'm already grading, I have the Bulbasaur and um, the Charmander. But I'll put it down anyways, just to kind of compare. I also have this... Why not grade it in the 3? I already have it in the Ace as well, but... That's worth grading. Zapdos. Yeah, I think that's worth grading as well. Alright. Don't have this one. So that's cool. I don't have a lot of these. So that's kind of cool adding on to the collection. So if this ever becomes, you know, worth it to grade everything, I, I definitely will. So here's the Pikachu. This is what I was looking for. One of the main cards. And now what's left. I gotta skip ahead just to see if it's here. Dude they lied to me. Oh my god. The guy that advertised this said that. There is a Charizard in here. He totally lied to me. Wow. That kind of upsets me to be honest. Because I, I don't think I would have bought this. If I didn't think that. I should have known better. Because it I bought it for $200. And um, the Charizard is by itself. Um, worth more than $200. Um, but that's definitely disappointing, man. What a fucking dick. God, I'm gonna give him a bad review. That's for sure. Not that it really matters, but... That was just kind of dishonest, because he, um... Definitely advertised, like, there was, for sure, a, um... A Charizard, so there... There is not. So the only card that... So this ended up kind of being a bust, to be honest with you. I mean, I did gain a lot of new Pokemon for the the poker set, which is cool. But I already have Squirtle in better condition. Really, the only card that I gained out of this was Pikachu. I did need this Pikachu. So I'll look on the bright side of that. I mean, if this grades well... It should pay... Well, let's be honest. I mean, when I grade all these, um, it should pay. I mean, I only paid um, 200 for these. So, I mean, I guess it was wishful thinking thing that there's a Charizard in there. But in the pictures that he included, there was a Charizard. So, um, yeah. Overall, kind of a dick bag. <laughs> That's all I'll say about it. Alright, so. Instead of packaging these all up i feel like it's just safer i'm just gonna put it back in the card box and just keep it in there that way i feel like it's a good way to store it keep them safe until you know if these cards ever become worth a lot more you know certain cards are worth good money as you guys know like this pikachu this grades a 9.5, and I found some pretty cool top loaders. It's hard to see, but there's a tab right here. So that's cool, because then when you send these in, you don't have to do the whole sticky note thing. It's already uh, 
built in for you. So I definitely recommend these penny sleeves. God, this should not, it's not, hold on one second guys. I'm trying to get this in. So this, I seen a video the other day about hobby pet peeves. This is a hobby pet peeve. When people don't disclose condition or they're misleading about cards. It's like they're trying to get over on you. And you see that so much in cards. And, and luckily this is the first time I've ever got... I mean I really didn't get burnt. Because I feel like I'm still going to make money on this product. But like I said before. I wouldn't have bought this product if I knew the Charizard wasn't in there. I mean, yes, I do need the Pikachu, but I just had some other things in mind. But, I mean, overall, not bad. I mean, I have... The problem is that I literally have all of these other than... I don't have this, which is cool because... I need the Venusaur and the Charizard. That's really all I'm hunting left in this poker set. Other than that, I'm really satisfied with all the cards that I have. But, um... So, yeah. But honestly, what's weird is I've never seen a Venusaur in the poker set. Um, I'm sure there is one. I mean... Like I said, this is the Bulbasaur set. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Probably just gave you a headache. Um, but this is the blue set. Okay? So I have the green set as well. Sorry if I'm being kind of slow, but just kind of updating on things. So as you guys know, I've been collecting Kabooms as, as well. Um, I have 25 of them. And as you guys know, I, I set a goal... To get 60 in 4 years. And I know it sounds like I'm really close. But I'm at that price point now. Where I'm paying six, 700 per ka kaboom. And I'm kind of been doing research. You know. And I'm seeing a Clay, Clay Thompson kaboom. Not his rookie year. Cheapest one I can find is like $700. Okay. And then I, I can find his rookie auto numbered card you know beckett um like a 10 and a 9.5 for like 2.99 a rookie auto so i think i'm gonna switch up a little bit i'm gonna take a little break on kabooms and focus on marvel pmgs because i've been picking them up um you'll see in the mail i literally picked up five of them and i paid like under a hundred dollars for each one so people can say like marvel pumping whatever whatever um, I personally love the Marvel PMGs and, uh, I'm going to collect them. Um, and my goal is to collect a hundred of them. Really, I want to collect all the high series ones, but I believe there's about 200. Um, and some of them are definitely out of my price range. Anything that's Venom or Spider-Man, Iron Man, you know, um, those get to the 600, 800, a thousand. I'm not willing to pay that for PMGs. Probably my max would be about 300. And that would have to be a character that I really want. But I'm definitely happy just paying 100 for the PM PMGs. Because if you look back, I mean, people are pumping and dumping, whatever. I mean, it's $100 for a PMG. I mean, type in the same character PMG from 2017. Um, and those red PMGs are going for three, four hundred dollars. So three, four times the price. And in my opinion, the design is much inferior to the, this year's design. So people will talk about pump and dump and, and I do agree on some things, but I mean, sometimes people just make a great product, you know, which is what happened with the Spider-Man Marvel, in my opinion. They, it's just a great product, and that's why it's popular. I mean, it literally, I didn't collect Marvel at all, and it brought someone, you know, to start collecting Marvel. And that really had nothing to do with YouTube. I'm trying to think what got me, like, what sparked the whole Marvel thing. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. I really can't remember, but. So let's go over the hits for the shorts. So, 1996, we've got a blue Blastoise, and the eBay seller promised me a Charizard. I paid $200 for this, and let's see if I got the Charizard. 
Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Mewtwo, Squirtle, Charmander, Charmeleon, Zapdos, and I got a bunch more, but no Charizard, so the seller lied to me. <laughs> Very interesting, but still, um, happy with the Pikachu at least. Should be able to grade these and at least, um, get my money back or something, but happy to have it. Not happy to be lied to by the seller. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think.